Hey, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm just going to run through a very basic spreadsheet on how to price and value forwards. Now it's uh, also important that to know that you can actually use this valuation technique for futures as well. But of course the big difference is that forwards don't have to be marked to market and there's not this potential margin requirement uh, that you may face with futures. But uh, nonetheless the principles are pretty much the same. So to begin with, just looking at a very simple forward um, with, uh, with no storage costs and no known income and no yield, it's very simple, just equal to the sum of the spot times by EXP interest rate times by the maturity. So basically, just to run through this calculation, this EXP just stands for the letter E in mathematics, and it's really basic use is, in this case, is to show the compounding return. So moving on, we have a forward contract with known income. So um, this might be, for example, a bond. And uh, it's priced a little bit differently. But obviously, these all stem from the same, uh, same concept as was just done. But the way we treat this income is we take equal to the spot and then we minus the present value of the income so we times that by EXP minus 1 times by the interest rate times by the maturity and we take that figure there so that's B12 B12 minus this times that by EXP interest rate times by times maturity. And we have 100 spot 02. Now, a forward contract with a known yield. So, this is, uh, for example, a stock index. We take the spot equal to sum spot times by EXP and then we just take the interest rate minus known yield times by time to maturity but in this case you want to make sure that you got the calculation just right and you want to put a couple of brackets around that figure and press enter and there you have 94.4594 Fine. Uh, and then the second last example is a forward contract on currency. So 1.6, let's say it's uh, cable or um, uh, you know US dollar versus the pound. Um, we can have spot times by EXP. Very similar to the last case, we have the home currency minus foreign currency. And then we'll just make sure that's isolated. And times that by time to maturity. And we have 1.47699. And finally, the Ford contract with storage costs is very simple and similar to our Ford contract with known income. So what we do here, we equal to the sum of the spot. This time we add the storage costs or I should say the present value of the storage costs uh, 5 times by EXP minus 1 times by time to maturity times by the interest rate we have 94 and then you times that by EXP Interest rate times by time maturity. So you want to go through all the calculations. Basically, the reason we have EXP minus one that's the present value, and uh, EXP without the minus one is uh, obviously the future value. Um, so here we have five different ways to calculate uh, known future forward uh, forward contract um, 
obviously there's a lot of different things that can go into it and arbitrage you know rules don't always hold because you have differences in the yield curve you have different uh, storage costs perhaps uh, different estimations of the known income but this is a general place where you want to start on um, valuing a forward or a futures contract um, that's all for now good luck in trading forwards or futures and uh, we'll speak again soon